Hello people, let's dive right in. So first off, we're gonna add a canvas layer. This will allow us to display uh, 2D stuff under a 3D node. We're gonna rename it HUD. Then we're gonna add a progress bar, a texture progress bar. Make sure you take this one. Then into textures, we're gonna slide the health bar under into the under texture and the progress is going to be health bar over. Make sure the health bar over goes into progress, not under hover over. Good. Then I'll show you something. I'll show you how it works. So the min value is zero. The max value is a hundred and the value is zero. So we don't see any red. If I set the value to 75, as you can see, the bar fills up. And if I set the value to zero again, it's empty. We can slide it a bit like this. This seems perfectly fine. Then we're going to add a label. A label is a node that allows us to display text. And this label, will we will use it to display our gold. So we can set it to zero. Doesn't really matter if, uh, if we write something there uh, because it will change in the script. But uh, just, uh, just so we can see it and place it at the right place, we're going to set it to zero. Uh, then if you find it a bit small, you can go under control, theme, type variation, and you can choose a variation. So I'll choose medium, so it's, a, it's slightly bigger. Uh, then we're going to rename our texture bar uh, HP, HP bar and our label uh, gold label, and we can press play. So as you can see, top left, we got our health bar empty and we got our gold at the bottom right. If I move my camera, it follows. Then uh, we want them to actually do something. So we're going to go into the player script. We're going to reference uh, both the HP bar and the gold label. So we're going to create for each of them a variable. So unready var HP bar will be equal to the HP bar and unready var gold label will be equal to the gold label perfect now we need new variables so gold will be equal zero a variable to set our hp so hp will be equal to, equal to uh, 50 why not and max hp max hp will be equal to 50. good now we get all the variables that we need we're gonna go into the the function ready we're going to set the max value of the HP bar to the max HP. So let's go and call HP bar dot max value equal 50. If you press on the HP bar, max value is right there. So we're going to be changing the max value. If you want to be want to reference a value in a node in to a script, you can press on the value right click and copy property path and as you can see if i press ctrl v to paste it pastes max value uh, then we're gonna create a new function and we'll call it function update hud and in this function we'll just set uh, the values of hp bar and gold label to the values in the script hp bar dot value equal hp and uh gold label dot text will be equal to string gold so why are we doing this if we go into the gold label you can see the property right there is text if i right click copy property path it's text so i've got to use text and because it's a a text the node only accepts accepts uh, string uh, values and gold is an integer right there it says it's an integer so we can switch it to a string with the string function str uh, stands for string and it will uh, yeah it will switch it to a string now if we test it and press play it does not work why oh because we gotta put our up update hud into the process function update hud in the process function now if we press play it works uh, the help bar is full if we change the gold for example 15 
press play again we get 15 gold and the health bar is full perfect so it works uh now there's one more, more thing i want to show you if you go into project project settings window uh, mode and you set it to full screen then we press play as you can see the hud did not scale right uh it's still the same size even though our window is now way bigger so what we can do to fix this is go into project settings into uh, the window panel go down to stretch the stretch mode we gotta change it to canvas item so this will stretch all the uh, everything in the canvas that's why we use a canvas layer it's going to stretch it uh, to the window size so if we press play again now it's stretched in the right way and if we remove the full screen and go to windowed again test it it also works perfectly fine good i hope you liked it Leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next episode.